Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to be throwing a couple of yabby nets in while I'm fishing or throwing a couple of fishing lines in while I'm yabbying. <laughs> G'day folks, today I'm going fishing and yabbying. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now it's the middle of June, it's not uh, the best time of year to go yabbying, but this spot here, this is the Yanko Creek. I came up here the last two Junes in a row, and both times I caught yabbies on my fishing rod, even though it was the middle of June. The first time I'd done it, I, caught, I called my video something like, you couldn't make this stuff up or something, I was just gobsmacked. But then I've done it again last year. In fact, I think I caught two yabbies last year and a few shrimp. So why are there yabbies and shrimp active in this spot in winter and nowhere else? I don't know. I also caught quite a few spiny Murray crayfish, little ones, and they are protected in this waterway. So if I catch any crayfish today, I will put them back. If I do catch a few yabbies, I might hang on to them if I get enough. I really don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna put two yabby nets in, and then I'm gonna put my lines in. Right now I've got two little yabby nets, little drop nets, and I've got them baited with dry dog food in the uh, the bait bomb by Nolsey. First time I've used them. Right, there's a fair bit of current here, so I'll put them in close to the bank. That one can just go right there. Now this second one's upstream about 50 metres. How deep is it? Doesn't need to be deep for yabbies anyway, I don't think. Not deep at all, but that's okay. It's in about probably 40 or 50 centimetres. I'll put it there and see how it goes. This is exciting me a little bit. There's some huge carp scales. Right, I've just finished rigging up my rods. I've got one with a running sinker rig, one with a patternoster rig, and I've put a heavier sinker on because of the current and a couple of Janjuck worms on each rod. Right, the heavy sinkered patternoster can just go out there. You'll notice I'm using fork shaped sticks today, a bit old school. I only forgot one thing today, and it's my U Butte Simon Humphrey fishing rod holder. So it's back to basics with the fork sticks. The running sinker can just go out here. There's no need to cast it out too far. Not in that current. The current will just wash it around too much. Right, both lines are in. And now, we wait. Already had a bite on this rod just here. Look, it's biting now. Is it a fish? It looks like a carp. It might be a fish. Got him! I'm on the board with a fish straight away! Oh, I've been here like two minutes! I've been here two minutes! Last year I sat here for four hours before I caught a carp, but I caught heaps of crustaceans. Very orange under his uh, anal fin there. Folks, I'm on the board. Well, that didn't take long, probably only three or four minutes and I'm on the board already. Awesome. And I've got a bit of spare yabby bait if I need it as well now. <laughs> Fresh carp. Can I use that in New South Wales? Oh, here we go. The other rod's getting a bite in now. He's on that, got him. This is a bigger one. Not much bigger, but bigger. I need to put the other rod back in. I just finished saying I've got some spare bait now, fresh carp. But then I've just thought, I don't know whether I can use carp as, uh, as bait. Oh, it's a mirror carp. That's all happening in the Yanko Creek. I'll admit this because I'm only using light line. Ha! One mirror carp on the board! That is a crazy looking fish! I've still got my worms but they're a bit mangled. Rather than rip them off and put two fresh ones on, I think I'll just put one, one fresh one on to complement the old one. Fresh juices with an old skin. <laughs> Been here five minutes and I've already caught two carp. There's got to be more in here than just carp. I need to come up here in the, in the warmer months. Now when I was putting that line in, I mentioned that uh, I've got that carp there. I can use it for, for bait if I need to. Just, uh, I'm not sure what the rules are in New South Wales on using carp as yabby bait. I would be reading up on that before I'd done it. Two on the board. Here we are, it's getting another bite. You've been back in a couple of minutes. Looks a little bit more shrimpy, this one. Could this be my first crustacean bite? Is there anything on it? Oh, it's a fish on it, look! <laughs> 
I could feel a bit of weight. I thought I might have been dragging in a yabby. You know, carp number three. Tiny, that one. This is incredible. Haven't even had a chance to reply to my Uncle Gary's text message yet. <laughs> right, all has gone quiet. It's been about 25 minutes or so since I put my yabby nets in. I might go and check them. Although I am a little bit disheartened because unlike last year, I'm not getting bites on my fishing rods from crustaceans. Last year we caught crayfish, yabbies and shrimp and we caught so many, so many crustaceans that Holly named the video because she was here. She named it Catching Selfish Shellfish. <laughs> and this year I haven't seen any nibbles from any crustaceans, so... Mmm. My expectations aren't as high as they were when I left. I'm going to leave these out while I go and check the nets. Otherwise, when I come back, they might not be here anymore. <laughs> and this one's been in the least because I've done an impatient check on it. And nothing. A couple of little minnows. Oh, I've got a shrimp. See what I mean? There's no shrimp in the river at home at the moment. This time of year, the shrimp are just inactive. But up here, I get shrimp and yabbies biting my line. Oops. He's back in. See you later, mate. I caught a shrimp. Well, that sort of goes to show what I'm talking about. Even though it's winter, the things that I catch in summer bite up here. This one's not half as deep as the other one, but that might be a good thing, because yabbies don't always like deep water. N nothing. Just had quite a big bite on me running sinker rig. Just looked up in time to see it bent over. I don't know whether there's something playing with it there now, whether that's the current. Haven't had a touch on the Paternoster for a while, but this one's had a few nibbles. Just reel it in and see if there's anything sitting on it. Is there a yabby or something on here, I think? Yep, look at that. That's exactly why I have got the yabby nets in. That there, that is exactly why I brought yabby nets with me. That is, there you are, that's the proof. Three years in a row now, I've come up here in June and caught yabbies on my fishing rod. <laughs> I haven't been getting nearly as many bites from crustaceans today as what I did this time last year But there we go. He's not big, but I'm going to put him in a bucket If I can get a dozen or so that size, I'll get a bit of a snack I'm not liking my chances, but you never know if I can get them on my rods then surely I can get them in my nets Surely if I can catch them on my fishing rod, I can catch them in a gabby net. No, that one's got a hole in it, this net. I've never noticed it before. It should still work. Might have to use worms for baiting the yabby net. <laughs> I've got a carp I can tie in there. If I'm allowed, I've got to check the rules on that one. Come on, net number two. Bring me luck. No. What can I, how come I can catch yabbies on a rod, but not in my net? This spot kind of baffles me a little bit. You'd think that if you can catch yabbies on your fishing rod, that you'd catch them in the nets as well, wouldn't you? Maybe the running sinker rig's getting much of the bites because the Patnoster rig, the worms are up off the bottom and the... Oh, I'm saying that, I'm getting a bite in the Patnoster rig. Shut your mouth, Robert, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> Maybe this isn't a yabby, maybe it's a fish. I don't know, but I didn't catch it, whatever it was. Another nice bite. I'm seriously thinking about when I check these nets next, bringing that one from up that end and just putting it right here. Because <laughs> I reckon they could be yabby bites. Come on, take it. It's got to be a yabby, surely it's got to be a yabby. This rod here is just getting so many bites. After sitting here navigating the New South Wales DPI fishing uh, rules and regulations for ages, I finally found it. Baits. You are not permitted to use frogs, use live fin fish in inland waters, including live carp or other species. Use non-native fish or parts thereof, whether alive or dead, other than dead carp. So you can use dead carp as bait. I'll read that again. I'm in New South Wales. 
you are not permitted to use non-native fish or parts of whether alive or dead other than dead carp so you can use dead carp as bait I reckon I might uh, get one of these dead carp over here and put it in one of my bar one of my bait bombs and just see if that helps me catch a couple of yabbies Net number two this is the one I'm going to move heaps of minnows in here so there's quite a bit of aquatic life right now check this out I'm going to get my bait bomb take the lid off empty all the dog food out and put this carp in there but I'll cut it down so that it bleeds a bit at first Will I get it all in? <laughs> yep, I've got the whole carp in there. Let's see how that goes. Right, I'm also moving this net to just out in front of me here because this is where I'm getting heaps and heaps of bites on my worms that I reckon might be from yabbies. I can't help myself, I need to check this net already. It's only been in about 10 minutes, but nothing. I'm gonna check this one again. Nothing. Oh, what about this net? Tangled again. That's not good. Maybe I need to lower it a bit slower. Right, it's up past 11. I'm going to pull these lines in now, check the nets, and then put them back in for the last time. Nothing again. Just heaps of minnows. And tangled. Right, my nets are in now, having their last soak. And while they're doing that, I've decided to just move upstream here about 15 metres to this bit of slow, shallow water in a last-ditched effort to try and catch a fish before I pack up. There's a bite in the running sinkery. Take it, that's a carp, I reckon. Can I get one more before the day's out? Come on. Has moving spots paid off? Folks, I've missed the hookup, but I fluked one. I kid you not, I was just about, <laughs> I've missed the hookup. I just thought, oh well, I'll pack up my rods, I'll pack everything up, then I'll film a closing scene. Picked up my rod and I thought I was snagged, and all of a sudden it took off. Absolute 100% fluke. The last, well, I assume it's the last fish, unless there's something on that as well. I 100% fluke the last fish of the day. Carp number four, and that was an absolute fluke. Quite dark in colour, slender. And very orange on the tail, like the one I got earlier. <laughs> that was unreal. Well, you can call it a fluke all you like, but I reckon it was pure skill. But this is what just happened. I picked up my rod, reared it in like that, and all of a sudden it just took off. I don't know how long the fish has been sitting there for. I haven't noticed any nibbles. <laughs> no, it was a fluke. It was a pure fluke. I caught three fish when I first got here and haven't had a touch for three hours. All right, final check of the nets. They've been very disappointing today. It's tangled again, but I've got another shrimp. I've got a, uh, a nice bait-sized shrimp, that one. Oh, shrimp, see you later, mate. Where I live in Wangaratta, you couldn't buy a shrimp this time of year. I reckon that uh, they never, you never catch them in winter. Now, I've had a lot of problems with tangling. And I suspect that the problem will be uh, rectified, it will be gone when I'm yabbying in still water as opposed to this fast flowing water. But I think a short term solution could be to put a few sinkers in the bottom because what's happening is the net is sinking faster than the bait. So that's sinking down on top like that and then the current's washing it over and causing it to, uh, to tangle. So just a couple of sinkers in there, a couple of bean sinkers and I reckon that would fix that problem. Final net. Please be a yabby, you know. Got to catch at least one of them that day, don't I? Another shrimp. <laughs> I've caught one yabby and three shrimp, and surprisingly no crayfish, because I know they are here. I caught them here on my fishing rod last year. Mate, that's your lucky day. I was hoping to get at least a dozen or so. It's only very small anyway, but I reckon a dozen of them would have given me a midwinter taste of yabbies. But it's not to be.
I caught three carp in the first 15 minutes of being here today and then I didn't catch another one for three hours until I pulled my rods out to come home and then I fluked a fourth fish. Four carp, three shrimp and one yabby. I've done better than I expected fishing wise, not as good as I expected crustacean wise. Having caught a few yabbies here on my fishing rod in the past and again today, I was sort of hoping that I might be able to get a few yabbies in the nets but it wasn't to be. But anyway, I've had a whole lot of fun. Thank you all very much for watching. No artificial intelligence was used in the making of this production.